Good morning. We are with you, child. It is May 2nd, 2018. We are with you, child. For you pine to know something that you already know. You need not know anything, only to open to what is. What is inside, what has always been, what has formed you, molded you, and created your reality. We come to you only to assist your awakening. For sometimes in the aloneness of being human, who you are, where you came from, and why you are here has been forgotten. And it is for good reason that it's forgotten. For this is a solid reality with one perception by multiple views. And if you are to awaken as a society, you will need to release the perspectives that you have that have formed the belief systems that exist. And that can be quite frightening under the paradigms of belief that are holding the planet together as it is. But many know by the millions now that something is up. Many understand that something is different, that they are realizing that how it is existing as it is, as you created it, it must change in order for it to evolve itself as itself. It is not everyone's responsibility. It is not everyone who will awaken to it. It is not everyone who even knows, but for those who do, there is a calling in the heart that is so strong that it says if one desires to rip their very skin off of their body to transform, though this is not really necessary, what is necessary is to rip away the illusions, to rip away the sight that creates the perception that is keeping you in a bounded life. Not a boundless life, but a bounded life. This life has a construct of control that was set in place eons ago. And that is okay, there is no judgment, there should be no anger. It is only to know that that bounded perception has also forced matter because of its own ability to create its own expansion, is forced into a new dimension, which is the time we call the now. And this now is the broadening of this experience of life. This now is when more people will awaken than any other time in history, on the fold of a new dimension of reality that is coming, that at this point many have perceived, talked about, wished for, hoped for, prayed for, meditated for, and so it will be. Because the unified field is reaching a frequency now that can hold the new matter and space into form. You are a part of this, as well as those other light workers, many of whom you are friends with, many you don't know, many who have followed you for years that you don't know. But there is a time calling all of you now, and all of the letting go of the boundaries of your life, some by death, some by choice, some by no choice. For it is time to be free and the perceptions of obligation have held people in play with great consideration and obligation for the sense of responsibility of what we call family on this planet. And though there are families upon families of many families, of the family, of all families of the one, our perception that keeps us connected to our family can also keep us very small. Your family is expanding. Your global family is on this planet and other planets beyond your perception of reality. That is neither here nor there, but the fact remains that you are connected to the all as one. 
and in this perception of the time that is, created in a singular form that you are encapsulated in your own body and responsible for it is true, but it does not mean that you are separate from the whole. It would be the drop of the water in the ocean, thinking that it was separate from the ocean when it is impossible. And yet, that one drop is what creates the beginning of the entire flow of water on your planet. The crystallization, the melting into being, the liquid that makes up the body, the molecular structure of the universe being the same inside as it is outside. And that which you hold dear, which is your perception, will continue to change as you ask for it. You live in a state of free will, so therefore, it cannot be brought forward without the great calling of the heart, without the great desire for something to change, a willingness to take it on, if you will, a willingness to say, I must and do desire to participate in this transformation as I have come here for this purpose. And so you have called out. And so you have asked. And each day that you ask and spend quiet time tuning your frequency to a state of being of reception, more awareness will be delivered. It may come in the form of a billboard. It may come in a sign that you turn and you glimpse and it's passing. It may come in a word from another, a book, a movie, a TV show. It doesn't matter how it is delivered. It is the attention to the desire that will bring the focus towards you by asking for this to become so. We are here working with your planet. We have been working with many of you since your birthing at great distance, for we cannot come into this space until the awakening has occurred by nature, the nature of the being to remember. And we wish only to help you remember what you have forgotten, stored away so deeply in your body, in each chakra, in the heart, and the soul to ignite the soul and the heart as one, to express the very desire of existence and being in the light, the experience of love and loving the light, the reflection of who you are, that which you are, that which is you. So calling out to know you and for it to know that which is. Understanding that you are the expression of that which is, expressing itself while you are independently expressing itself, with the joy to be able to express it in any way, form, for that which is expressing itself is experiencing you, which is experiencing itself. And as complicated as that may seem, it's really quite simple. It is life running through you, merely wishing to experience the same as you, as itself as a flower, as itself as all parts of the being of creation in its own form. You are its form. That is why you have free will. It is simply the intention and the force behind it, with your free will desiring to bring it forth of your own expression, with your own intention, that forms it into life, that calls itself something, that takes on a personified identity. Whether it is a tree, a rock, a squirrel, a deer, each has its own conscious or unconscious intention to have life live through it, to express itself through its form and its being, to expand all potential, 
We are living in an unlimited potential reality. There is no stopping. It just keeps creating. And when you understand how to awaken to it, there is nothing that you cannot experience. But you must be very careful to become conscious of that which runs it, which is thoughts and feelings spoken into reality by the charging of emotions, which become solid very quickly. They can be done or undone as quickly as it is so. And that is the awareness of being in the present state of the human being. Do, undo, undo, do. It's this constant process which humans do, as you can see. I love you, I don't love you. I want to be with you, I don't want to be with you. I want to do that, I don't want to do that. I want to be thin and now I'm fat. I have enough, now I don't. And it changes exponentially, moment by moment, until the mind is calmed. This is why we call upon you to meditate. This is why we call upon you to drink the essence of life within the body, to stay hydrated so that the frequency can be increased dynamically. When dehydration occurs, you have a limited opportunity to expand. Eventually, you will attract the moisture from the frequency. For now, it is important to secure clean water with a high vibration. You can reflect upon this water to help its vibration as we have done much damage to one of the most important aspects of being here on this planet. You are the blue planet of water and you must take responsibility for it now. It is calling out to you to be kind to it. Kindness is that which we offer you. We bring to you the frequency of kindness to give away, to give as your gift as we have spoken before. For in this kindness, a softness will occur. In this kindness, which can come as a compliment, an assistance, a may I help you, how can I be of service? What can I do to help your life? It's a gentle spirit and a gentle offering that costs nothing to give away but time. And time is an illusion, so therefore, you have unlimited potential to offer this kindness. The book of kindness. The creation of a new reality based on the loving heart of that which is only to experience self, itself in love, to light up that which its own potential can experience, and as absurd as it might sound, simply for the experience of it all. Imagine being able to experience the most incredible life you could imagine. It is the imagination but it is the will and the intention that carries through that imagination to become its own reality. The discipline it takes to center and guide the energy of the mind merged with the heart so that the desire is so great that it cannot help but experience itself in the form. There is nothing for you to learn. All beings have this potential already. It is only to let go of that which holds you solid in the form of your life now. And that must be done in the quiet times of the aloneness with the oneness. It must be to open own possibility by calling out and saying I am 
I am ready. I am open. I am available. I am willing to serve. I am willing to unite. I am willing to just be. I am one. We are grateful for the opportunity to be with you, our family of light, our family of love. We are so very grateful to you on this planet to allow us to assist, for it is with great joy that we get to experience this also. Your expansion of your dimension creates all realities in the universe to expand. And we are so fortunate to have been waiting and loving and so happy for this time. And we offer to you all that is. We are here now. We have always been and will always be with you. And so it is. Um, and men, and that which is woman is one. <laughs>